Father, amen. We give him the glory. I thank the Lord, amen, for the testimonies that I did here. Amen. Amen. I sound like God been blessing his people real good. Amen. 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 
and you blessed you, you gave you 50. Yeah. You didn't have an A. Yeah. 30 left to make it through the whole week with other things going on. Yeah. God, what day was it you got the letter from me? Monday. Monday. Yeah. What did you pray to pray? I pray to pray Monday morning on my way to work. On your way to work, you said, Lord. Lord. I said, Lord, it's not okay for me to be broke. I said, I prophesied to the Lord when it's <laughs> And so by the time you got home at what time? Um, uh, three thirty. You had a what? It was a letter. Um, say open immediately, and then it was a letter from Blue Cross Blue Shield saying the check number we issued in September second has not cleared our bank. You know, these, uh, if you want us to reissue the check, check this box. If you can't get more, if you don't want the check, check this box. So I can't the check. What box you check? Reissue. 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 Amen. In one book. 
and it was on the book of, of, of Isaiah. It's made up of 66 chapters. And that's why Isaiah was prophesied about the coming of our Lord, Savior Jesus Christ. During his time, Micah was also a prophet. Y'all with me? Amen. He was a contemporary. Began to prophesy a little after Isaiah. There is a mere resemblance between that prophet's prophecy and this. And there is a prediction of the advancement and the establishment of the gospel church, which both of them have almost in the same words. That out of the mouth of two such witnesses, such great a word might be established. So if you go back and compare, Isaiah is much more extensive, but if you compare the prophecies of Isaiah to the prophecies of this matter prophet Micah, it will become very apparent to you a mind that God is real. Because they speak, amen, the same language. So with that said, amen, let's move into our lesson tonight. And let's talk about some of what God wants from his people. And the first chapter, first verse of the sixth chapter reads, Hear ye now what the Lord said, Arise, contend thou before the mountains, and let the hills hear thy voice. Hear ye, O mountains, the Lord's controversy, you strong foundations of the earth. Amen now. Amen from a literary standpoint. Amen. The writer Michael is saying mountains. Amen. He's speaking. Amen. Bless God. Amen. Bless God. Not necessarily. Amen. In, in, in. Amen. Uh, natural terms. But he's not saying the word mountain. Figurative. Amen. But he's making reference. He's, he's speaking in terms of a simile here. When he says, hear ye old mountains. Amen. Somebody help me understand quite possibly what is the prophet referring to? Anybody? What is he referring to when he says, I'm going to read it again. He says, Hear ye, hear ye now the Lord saith, Arise, contend thou before the mountains, and let the hills hear thy voice. Hear ye, O mountains, the Lord's controversies, you strong foundations of the earth. For the Lord has a controversy with his people, and he shall plead with Israel. O my people, what have I done unto thee? Amen. This is God speaking. Amen. He's talking. Amen. He, amen. He's speaking through his manservant. And wherein have I worried thee? Testify against me. God is saying, if I've done something, amen, bless God, to you, I want you to tell me what it was right now. Amen. Bless God. He said, he reminds me. You know, folks preach down. They say, hello. They say, hello, walk. <laughs> amen. It's kind of like the prophet. Amen. He said, hello, walk. In other words, amen, these people can't get me. Amen, these people, these people, amen, they're going to miss amen, what God's about to say. But I want somebody to tell me what I've done to you. I want you to be clear with me. I want you to make it plain. Amen, the all that you have against me. Amen, I want you to lean over on your neighbor and give them, amen, some foresight as to where we're going. And simply say to them, if you don't know how good God's been to you, he knows who will. Amen. Maybe y'all have forgotten. Amen. How far he brought you from. Amen. How he's keeping you even now. And what he's taking you to. But if you don't know God's good, God knows he's good. Yeah. Are y'all with me? And so he's saying, Amen. What's the problem? So you, I'm talking to somebody tonight. Amen. That's worried about the way things look. And they're concerned about the way things are going to turn out. And the God says, What's the problem? And then what's the issue? What have I done to you? Are y'all with me tonight? He said, if I have worried you, he said, let me know right now what I did to get on your nerves. For I brought you up out of the land of Egypt. I redeemed thee out of the house of servants. Huh? And I sent before thee Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. Wish I had a church. Hey, man, he knows what he's done for you. Hey, Amen. This is somehow we forget. Now, I like this. Because, amen, before I can get to the meat of this thing, let's take a look at what God sent. Amen. God said, I brought you out of Egypt, and I sent you three things. I sent you Moses, I sent you Aaron, and I sent you Miriam. Amen. No, we will miss what God has done for us because we get caught up in the names. He said, I sent you Moses, I sent you Aaron, and I sent you Miriam. And now, don't, don't just get caught up in what he sent them, but get, start looking at when he sent it. And he said, I sent you Moses, I sent you Aaron, and I sent you Miriam when you were slaves. I sent you Moses, I sent you Aaron, I sent you Miriam when you didn't know how to give me no glory. 
when you didn't know who I was and you didn't know how to praise me. I sent you Moses, I sent you Aaron, and I sent you Miriam when you didn't know how important I was in your life. Do we miss the significance of what God has done for us? Now that's when I sent them. But let me show you what I sent you. In Moses, I sent you a leader. And Moses, I sent you a man in direct representation of my power and my mind. And in, uh, in Moses, I sent you a man, a visual representation of my miracle working power. Amen. Amen. He said, and in Aaron, I sent you free food. In Aaron, I sent you my will and I sent you my way. In Aaron, I showed you organization. And in Miriam, I taught you how to pray. Come with your head. Y'all, I'm leaving. Y'all can't get with me tonight. See, we don't shop until we see money. But he said, I sent you three things. I brought you out of Egypt, and I sent you three things. I sent you a representation of my power and my mind in Moses. I sent you a man of understanding of what it means to walk in my way. And then he said, I sent you Aaron when you didn't even know nothing about what it took to please me. And I put before you the Levitical priesthood. Amen. So we don't put no, come on, put no bail on the fact that we love Jesus. Amen. We don't put no bail on the fact that we could be a heathen just like some of the folk we know. But it was God that brought us out and sent for us what we need because we be able to call ourselves saved. Amen. I sent you Moses. I sent you Aaron. And then I sent you Miriam, a dynamic praise. I sent you somebody, amen, that would praise up against the rocks. Yeah. I sent you somebody, not only would she pray, she showed you how to pray. Yeah. And now they give me clothing. Yeah. In the midst of going from one place to the next, yeah. I sent you, amen, that's not everything you needed to be sustained. Yeah. Hey, you never ain't got there, you're the boss. Yeah. This, is, this is incredible. He said, I brought you out. And then I sent you these three things. Amen. Amen. When you didn't know them. Amen. I sent you these three things that now when you thought drinking was alright. I sent you these three things when you thought homemaking was alright. I sent you these things. You didn't save yourself, God saved you. Yeah. You didn't get like your cousin and you're going for God. <laughs> and while you were full of yourself, I sent you Moses. I showed you what my power in this realm. Mm. I showed you, amen, what my power could do, amen, in the earth realm. When other folk couldn't realize, when other folk couldn't see it, I helped you to understand that I'm real. Huh? You look at that folk and did you see that? And they say, what? And God let you see stuff. Huh? Did they never let God? I let you hear my voice. I gave you an understanding of my word. Wow, you was one of us. Wow, you were yet heathens. I'm so mad. Why they wait for me to get saved before he saved me? <laughs> Yes, 
What Miriam taught us, amen, let's God, is that you don't need no title to pray. Amen. God, let us pray. Do you look good, tell the folks off. Sweat it up, get it off your chest. 
What, what's on your chest and not on God? So, for I brought thee up out of Egypt, and I redeemed thee out of the house of servants. Huh? He said, I know that it And I sent before thee who? Moses, Aaron, and both of them when he thought he had been to Miriam. And he said, Miriam. See, y'all, they need to write that down because that's a power scripture for you. Amen. Because folks say, God ain't called no preacher, no women. <laughs> but he said, he sent Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. Amen. Amen. To the people that didn't know no better. And gave each one of them specific duties. He said, oh my people, remember now what Balak, king of Moab, consulted. What is God trying to say? He said, you ought to be praying. And the people he talked to won't even live in when Balak came up against the people of Israel, the children of Israel. They won't even live in. And we call testimonies that we tell over and over in our lifetime old. But God is reminding them of two of the old testimonies and saying, I want to hear thank you for it. You might get tired of telling it, but God don't get tired of hearing it. You might get tired of saying it, but God don't get tired of hearing it. And then even if you dead, God want to hear your children talk about what he did for you. After you dead, he want your children to stand up and say, Your God. What do you want to buy, son? 
He wants relationship. Yes. 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 Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. to know him and to cherish the lessons that he has taught us. Uh, that we might count ourselves blessed to be not good amongst the sanctified. The Lord brought Christ into the city, and the man of wisdom shall see thy name, hear ye the rod, and we had appointed it. I they get the treasures of wickedness in the house of the wicked, and the state measure that is abominable. Say, huh? I count them few with the wicked balances and with the bad and deceitful ways. For the rich man thereof are full of violence. And the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies and the tongue is deceitful in the mouth. Therefore also will I make thee sick and smiting thee, and make thee desolate because of the sin. Thou shalt eat but not be satisfied, and thy cast thou shalt be in the midst of thee, and thou shalt take hold but shalt not deliver. And that was not deliverance when I give up to the soul. Thou shalt sow, but thou shalt not reap. Thou shalt tread the olive, but thou shalt not anoint thee with oil. And sweet wine, but shalt, but shalt not drink wine. For the, the statutes of Umrah are kept. And all the works of the house of Ahab, see? Who be saying, look, humble yourself before me. Huh? Not make me your God. No, he not say, make me your God. He said, allow me to be your God. Humble yes, yourself, submit yourself to me. Yes. Huh? Don't, don't say one thing, then your heart be far from it. Yes. Don't lift me up on high before men, but in your heart still pay homage to the things of this world. Yes. Huh? Be understand. He said, look, but what you have is not made up of itself. Come on, if you're not holding seeds in your hand. See, only God is to call reproduction. And so what you have cannot reduce, reproduce itself. You know, so you have it, but you won't go back and reach from it. Because of God. You're going to need me to provide you with both the rain and what else, Apostle? The rain. What do you want? He wants relationship. Yeah. He wants what, Apostle? He wants time spent. Mm -hmm. He wants to reveal himself to you. you. Uh, and I'll tell you, you know, in so many ways, he reveals us to ourselves. He lets us see ourselves. And in seeing ourselves, our love for him puts us in a position whereby we work to perfect ourselves. Amen. Isn't that something tonight? That's what you want. Do you got anything out of this tonight? Yeah. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Who do you say? I want relationship. And what do you do? I say this to my side. What do you give a God that has everything? Amen. Huh? Huh? And, you, and, and then what God says, what's different with our God and Buddha? You can pay homage to a statue. Hmm? You that one, right? You can pay homage to an idea. That's an homage. But the word of God tells in the book of Men, in the book of Hebrews, that we don't have a God. They cannot be touched with the infirmities. Without infirmity. In other words, he had feelings. He can reason. He is aware. He is feeling with compassion and understanding. And can be provoked to anger. Please, your pastor, he's alive. So not only is he able to see, but he's able to understand and draw conclusions based out of what he sees. That's what qualifies him as the only true and living God. Can I write to him? Thank you. 
That's awesome. Hallelujah. I feel God. Well, that's good. But what's even better than that is that God can feel you. He knows you. He knows when you say I had enough, when you can take some more. He knows when you haven't said I had enough, and you have all you can take. And he prepared me with a of step by me. We'll focus that directly. You know what I get? What I talk about? Why must be getting on? He steps in how? Directly. And then he said directly, then he said directly. He didn't that directly. That's him. And what about him, Apostle? He knows you. So you're not in here trying to get God to love me. You're not trying to get God to love me. It is impossible for him to love you more. Know? You know, I'm here trying to learn how to get God to love you. Lady! <laughs> New flash! He's already! Come here, Papa! Little dude! And that's why we're here! Huh? Huh? But to be justly 
to the Lord mercy and to walk humbly. That's it. Amen. A verse with your God. Amen. Is that wonderful tonight? Amen. 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 For the statues of Omri, a kid, and all the words of the house of Ahab, you walk in their councils, you listen to them. You, 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 you can let them in approach you. More than these things, you allow them to approach you. You the way you feel. You approach your actions, your reacting. Right? To these things. Right? Right? They reduce you from being who you are you. Not governed by these things. That's all we got to keep reminding us. We're not governed by these things. Even though we need this world, we're not love this world. We're not governed by these things. Sister told you that. She spoke out. The Holy Ghost prompted her to speak out. What of her speaking out? It was never flesh. She spoke out. She said, I speak it to the east, the west, the north, and the south. She said, Why don't you come to me? Two of the book. And got home that afternoon, we got a check yes, from a blue cloth blue cheese. Yes, spoken yes, into existence. Yes, spoken. Yes, Somebody was scouting the hand, went back before she took it back. Right. <laughs> right. God said that's the right time, right place. Yes, to build something lasting yes. in you. That money gonna be expected. Right. If you understand the move of God and the shift of the spirit, it brought it in pain. Come on, you never can be broke again. The move of the move of faith it took to move into walk into the next. I did it for me that where there was a there was a that the Holy Ghost was he was there. So he was there. And that's why you spoke it. You wrote the right bell, the spirit was the right thing. We do the same thing tomorrow, absent. Of the Holy Ghost from all of us. Can I get that? That's why we see God's face. That's why we talk to Him. Yeah, I wish I had some relationship with God more important than that. You couldn't get that move by us in that mind? Right. <laughs> you can get no matter from a group of people who put in that mind? Is there the same kind of energy? We need some money around here! <laughs> what are you talking about? That's all you got, you get them. But you turn your face to the wall. You turn your soul inside out. You became more spirit than flesh. You start walking around here, brothers and sisters. I wish I had some prayer that I was going to do that. I wish I could get some people to pray that they want you to say, let's get brothers and sisters. Y'all know what brothers and sisters is? Inside out. Huh? Let's get more style. That means let's take more spirit than we got to that And you became more spirit and you put the honest on God. And right here is inside out. And you say, God, I need you. God, I'm counting on you. What about your day and for that? You didn't remember that it's not with you. And then who brought it back to you remember it? The Holy Ghost. <laughs> That's how he works. Manifests himself in this way. That's why you know you're real. That's how you know he has an expectation of who? Of us. He's holding us up. Accountable. You understand? Let me finish. Maybe I did already. And I should make thee a huh? for the stacks that are already here. Uh, and ye walk in the councils of, that I should make thee a desolation and the inhabitants that are in hissing. Therefore, you shall bear the reproach of my people. Good words. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm working even more on my relationship with God. Amen. Being what He would have me to be. Understanding that that's what he wants from me. Huh? He wants me focusing, yeah. right? And attentive yeah. to who he has been for me throughout my life. 
my relationship with God is built up upon who I know Him to be. Yeah. I've said about other people, this is not a Lego move. This is not a Lego book of God. Now you don't link up with other people to be yourself in your circumstance. Come on, in this, in this hour, you've got to be prepared to stand by yourself. At least for a while, if you're right. And the only thing that's going to shoot you up is the understanding of who God is. Go rehearsal in the spirit. What are you rehearsing concerning who you are in God? What God has done for you? And you rehearse this thing, man, to the point you come up with a new song that simply says, Why can't he? Why won't he? He can. That's all of your understanding of who he's been for you. For you. Where he brought you from? How he's carried you? How he's kept you? How he's moving your life? And if you can do that, it's what part of the afternoons of God.
devil's book. The devil's in your heart. That's the one God's going to be paid. God got some real people. But most of God show no people being held hostage. By the enemy. They try to please the people. As soon as the devil begins to see mobility, God will allow him to test your resolve in him. What will you sell for? I know you think you're headed. What are you going to do with these people? Hmm? You want to look at the face and tell them the devil is alive to get yourself together and think you can't do it. Amen. I'm talking to you tonight. You ain't got to come up here and roll me in the floor. You roll the floor yet? Yeah. I'm quiet. Yeah. Some of you talk like you crazy. Yeah. They call me pastor. Well, I'm a pastor. Yeah. What are you doing at home? You read that word at home? You obey God at home? You worship in that home? You praise in that home? What is it you want folks to say? What is it you want people to say? Ask your name, what do you want me to say? The Bible says you do your own before me. Thank you for healing, and thank you for deliverance by your spirit, 
in Jesus' name. In this place, God, and the enemy, sick among us, God, I thank you for delivering right now, for healing, even now, in Jesus' name, for deliverance, even now, in Jesus' name, for turning around, even now. God, we yield our ways to get your hands. And those things that you have done in our lives, we yield. Even if we're in out of place, if we're headed in the wrong direction, if we're driven by our own desire, and it's called us, God, to be removed from where you would have us to be, we yield to your will. In the spirit, have thy own way. Say that you are defeated. Every demon, every devil, every stronghold, every, oh my God, demon that comes to try to decision making ability of men, we bind you in Jesus. They will stand, those things that were standing between us and what God's purpose is for our lives, we bind them in Jesus. You have no power yet. Loose him. Loose him. We heal in the spirit. We defy our own flesh. And we heal in the spirit. Even now, in the name of Jesus, in the flesh, God, we may be going in the wrong direction, but right now in the spirit, we yield everything about ourselves into your hands. Hell, God, we don't make that. Demons are fighting and warring. Oh, my God, trying to come to things that you ordain to us, not to come to pass. But we believe you even now that you're breaking the stronghold of the enemy, even now. In the name of Jesus, oh my God, Hallelujah. we call on the God. We call on the earth. We call on the name of Jesus. Man, I know where Satan was defeated from. Oh my God, we give just a little while. He that shall come will come, and he will not tarry. In the name of Jesus, in the home of your people, I touch the area. But I can't even mention in this prayer things God not only that got the insight he talked about. I think it's just misogyny, even now. But get in between the cracks that I'm leaving in this prayer. And I thank you, God, just move the whole thing up missing demons and up the jealousy. The God they didn't get called upon in this prayer. God, I think it will reach it over and just shack them outside the head and remove them. So that holds the device of your people. In Jesus' name. Full reign in our lives. Full reign in our lives. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Somebody give God some praise.
I pray that God just fills you with his joy and his anointing. That from this day forward, this prayer will catch about three of this. And when you enter into God's sanctuary, you bring a good time with you. And everybody can catch that. I, 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 that's how I know. When you come into a place, you bring a good time with you.